Hi, my name is Rachel Rogers and my article review is about the article titled The Efficiency of Context Clue Instruction for Middle Grade Learners. And this article really went into depth on how important context clue instruction is rather than using a dictionary to, whenever you come across words that you don't know while reading. And this is so important for middle grade learners because they're, put it, they're reading very advanced context in all of their subject areas, not just English. And they're coming across very academic words while reading. And now there are three kinds of readers. There's independent, instructional, and frustrated. And vocabulary affects all three, not just frustrated. For independent, they're coming across words for the first time where they really have to know them in order to understand the content that they're reading. This can come across in math, science, English, social studies, can come across in any of them. Now for frustrated readers, it really hits hard on them because they're already struggling with reading and now we're throwing in all these academic words that they may not understand and it may discourage them and make them not want to read to their fullest cap capability. So because of this, we need to use context clues rather than dictionary because the dictionary gives you one definition and it's not always child friendly. While if you use context clue, you're able to figure out the meaning of a word in multiple settings and multiple contexts. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. You're thinking, okay, Rachel, we know that context clue instruction is better than dictionary instruction, but is that scientifically proven? And now that's what this article really dove into. This article talked about a test that was done with 44 frustrated readers. Now, they were given over 100 students in the Turkey area, because that's where this study was conducted, and they gave them a QRI-5 test. And this test classified them as independent, instructional, or frustrated. And from there, they only took the frustrated readers. That So instructional and independent were not included in the study. It was only frustrated. And then after they got those, there were 44 of them, they were given a pretest, and they were given the same pretest, and they were going to be given the same test after they were taught the instruction. So they were split in the middle, 22 were given context clue, and 22 were given dictionary. And now for the context clue, it was taught by a professor, and then he had a poster that had the four steps on it. Now the four steps for context clue instruction are called play and question, slow advance, stop and rewind and play in question. Now, while you're reading and you come across a word that you don't know, boom, play in question. So while you're reading, you're asking yourself, does this make sense? Do I know what this word means? And if you don't, boom, you move to step two, which is called slow advance. And with this, you reread the sentence and you try and find context clues in the sentence where the word is found and you try and find the meaning from there. Now, if you can't find the meaning, which happens, you go on to step three. Now, if you do find the meaning in step two, you do not have to move on to step three. This is only if step two does not work for you. So if you are not able to infer the meaning from just the sentence where it's found below, you go on to stop and rewind. And from there, you go on to some previous sentences before, and you can also read some sentences after to try and find further context that can help give you the meaning of the word. And then once you think you have the meaning of the word, you go on to the fourth step, which is called playing question. And you reread the sentence or the paragraph, if that helps you. And you replace the unknown word with the meaning that you think it is. And so you see if it makes sense. And then from there, you find your own definition while reading. And now during this, they were taught the steps and then the professors did a really good job encouraging them, saying like, I know that you're capable of this, and these four steps are really gonna help you. So he was encouraging the students while doing this. And while they were working on it independently after he went over it, he was going around asking scaffolding questions, like helping them, guiding them, and they were just given a lot of practice during it all. Once this group got more comfortable with using the four step strategy, they were put into pairs and they were given a more advanced text, so that way they could really practice using the strategy in a variety of contexts. They were given it in multiple subjects and on multiple levels. So they weren't just reading text on their level. And this went on twice a week for three weeks.
And now the control group, the group that was given dictionary instruction rather than the four step instruction, they didn't have this. This group was taught the way that we're used to being taught, and at least I remember being taught like this. They would read and they would, they were taught to highlight words they didn't know, and then whenever they come across a word that they don't know, they would use a dictionary to find the meaning of it. And this works, they, it teaches them how to find the meaning of words that they don't know, but they're given a dictionary definition, rather a definition that comes from their own brain. And once they got comfortable using a dictionary, the professor made sure that they knew how to find words in the dictionary and that they knew how to find the meaning in the dictionary. So they were taught how to find the meaning. They were, just like the first group, they were put into pairs and one student would read and highlight words and use a dictionary while the other one was kind of a leader. And then they would switch roles and the professor would walk around and also give them instruction and help them out when needed. And now the interesting thing about this was, like I said, after they were taught for three weeks, twice a week, they were given a post-test. And this test was the exact same test as the pre-test. And this actually showed that they both improved. So both the control group improved and the four-step strategy for context clues also improved. But the interesting thing is the context clues group improved much more than the frustrated group. Although they both improved, the context clues group did improve more and they were given more independence while reading. The dictionary group, they were not taught how to find the meaning of words without a dictionary. So they, if they were to be taking a test or reading a book and there was not a dictionary accessible, they are in a harder boat than the, than the group that was taught the context clues. So this article really talked about how important it is for students to be able to independently know the meaning of words so that way they can have proper vocabulary skills in multiple subject areas and I thoroughly enjoyed reading it.